Let's talk about what you get with each trim level of the 2024 Mazda CX-90 plug-in hybrid. There are three different trim levels of this electrified version of the CX-90, so which one's right for you? Let's find out. Stick around to the end of the video to see our top picks. The Mazda CX-90 is all new for 2024, and this is the first plug-in hybrid we're seeing from Mazda in the United States. While just being a spacious 3 row crossover with some electric-only range makes this a compelling product, add in Mazda's signature sporty driving dynamics and quality interiors on top of an all-new rear-wheel drive-based platform, and you've got something pretty unique. If you're not feeling the plug-in hybrid version, check out our video on the inline 6 CX-90 trims. Starting off with powertrain, all 2024 plug-in hybrid CX-90s will be powered by a 2.5 liter engine and a 68 kilowatt electric motor. Combined output is 323 horsepower, 369 pound-feet of torque. The battery is a 17.8 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery with an EPA estimated 26 miles of all electric range. All wheel drive is standard. There will be configurations offering seating for seven or eight passengers depending on the trim. The least expensive way to get into the all-new CX-90 plug-in hybrid will be the preferred, starting at $49,945. Standard features will include eight passenger seating. This will be a second row bench seat with optional second row captain's chairs for seven passenger seating. LED headlights with auto on off and high beam control. LED tail lights and daytime running lights. Rain sensing wipers. Heated body colored power side mirrors with integrated LED turn signals. Power sliding moonroof. Rear privacy glass. Rear power lift gate roof rails, 19-inch aluminum alloy wheels, three-zone automatic climate control, power windows with one touch up-down, power door locks, advanced keyless entry, push-button start, paddle shifters, illuminated entry system, two front USB-C inputs, two rear USB-C charging ports, an eight-way power adjustable driver's seat, a four-way power adjustable passenger seat, leather-wrapped steering wheel and shift knob, leather seats, heated front seats, second row retractable window shades, a 10.25 inch infotainment screen, wired Apple CarPlay and wired Android Auto, Bluetooth phone and audio streaming, HD radio, eight speaker audio system, and a 12.3 inch fully digital gauge cluster. Standard safety features for the CX-90 will include dual front airbags, side impact airbags and side curtain airbags, front knee airbags, anti-lock brakes, stability control, traction control, trailer stability assist, Blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, Mazda radar cruise control with stop and go, forward smart brake support, vehicle exit warning, driver attention alert, latch rear child seat anchors and upper tether anchors, child safety rear door locks, rear seat alert, and a backup camera with static guidelines. Available exterior color options for the preferred are jet black, deep crystal blue, Platinum Quartz, or for an extra $595, Rhodium White, Soul Red, or Machine Gray. For the interior, you'll be able to choose between black leather or grayish leather. Next, we have the Premium, starting at $54,400, about $4,500 above the preferred. This will add a panoramic moonroof, a hands-free power liftgate, 21-inch aluminum alloy wheels, front and rear courtesy lights, auto speed limit assist, a 1500-watt accessory outlet, Frameless auto dimming rear view mirror with home link, LED illumination for the front and rear center console area, and for the front and rear door pockets. The premium is only available with seven passenger seating, meaning this will come standard with second row captain's chairs. An eight way power driver's seat with two position memory, Bose 12 speaker audio, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, Mazda's factory navigation system, Sirius XM, a head up display with traffic sign recognition, blind spot assist, road keep assist, head-on traffic avoidance assist, tire pressure monitoring system, front and rear parking sensors, and a secondary collision reduction system. The exterior color options for the premium will remain the same as the preferred, and will also add the no-cost option of Sonic Silver and the $595 option of Artisan Red Premium. Interior color options will remain the same as the preferred with either black or grayish leather. The most loaded you can get a CX-90 plug-in hybrid is the Premium Plus, starting at $57,450, about $3,000 above a premium. For that, we'll add a 12.3-inch infotainment screen, automatic power folding side mirrors, an auto-dimming driver side mirror, a 150-watt accessory power outlet, LED illumination for the front foot wells, a second-row center console with storage and two USB Type-C chargers, eight-way power adjustable front passenger seat, Nappa leather seating, heated second row seats, ventilated front seats, and a heated steering wheel. You also have interior matched door panel inserts with contrast stitching, 
add dynamic guidelines for the backup camera as well as a 360 view monitor. You'll also add smart brake support and front cross traffic alert and brake. The exterior color options for the Premium Plus and their respective prices will carry over from the Premium. Interior color options on the Premium Plus will be either a black or a white Napa leather. With all that information, which plug-in Hybrid CX-90 is the one to get? That becomes a bit of a difficult choice since none of these three options seem to be lacking in features. And if you choose to lease, as of the making of this video, there's a $7,500 lease cash offer on the plug-in hybrid model, taking the price of the preferred trim down below the starting price of the inline 6 CX-90 model with more power and more features. Factor in possible gas savings and it seems like a steal. The premium trim right in the middle should be a sweet spot in the lineup. With the bigger wheels, panoramic moonroof, better audio system, wireless CarPlay, and many other additions, this trim will certainly impress. That being said, the multitude of additions on the Premium Plus, including Napa leather seating, bigger 12.3 inch screen, and 360 view monitor seem to justify the $3,000 bump over the Premium. So if your budget allows, you won't regret it. Now with any car, the best trim for you will depend on the features you consider non-negotiable and the price your budget will allow. So let us know in the comments below which one you choose. Also, make sure you watch our breakdown on the 8 different trims offered on the standard CX-90 if you haven't been able to decide between the two options. Also tell us if you want to see a more comprehensive comparison of the gas versus plug-in hybrid CX-90. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, stay safe and remember, life's too short to drive a base model.